Today I'm going to be talking about Rust-Oleum Milk Paint and I'm going to show you um, kind of the coverage of it and um, how it looks on a piece. I've used this paint once before um, and just want to share with you some of the things I've noticed about using it to paint furniture. So after the first coat, it basically looks awful, really streaky, and it seems like it's never going to finish in the way you want. Um, but after the second coat, there's a huge difference. It's starting to feel a little bit kind of like almost silky, and the coverage is way better. By the third coat, I was completely happy. So if you're using this paint, just expect to do a couple of coats. I'm using Pace Finishing Wax. I love using it on milk paint, real milk milk paint and this milk paint, as well as chalk paint. Um, I just wrap a little bit in cheesecloth and rub it over the surface. Once it hardens just a bit, use a clean cloth to buff over it. And it just gives a really um, nice finish that kind of accentuates the variety in the milk paint. It also cleans up well, so it can still be wiped down even though it's in the kitchen. Overall, I've been really pleased with this paint. Um, if you're looking for a finish that's slightly different than acrylic paint or chalk paint with some variation, then this could be a really nice option. It finishes similar to milk paint, but it doesn't have all the hassle, and it adheres really well, which is a benefit. And of course, it's also fairly cheap for furniture paint, which is always a win in my book. For all things DIY around your home, head to refreshliving.net or hit subscribe.